Hello there! Welcome to another countdown video. I'd, I'd consider myself to be a Pokemon fanboy. I've been a fan of the franchise since it first came out. I'm, <clears throat> I think it's because I'm older now and I follow so many other different franchises that, um, and I jump around with game consoles, so sometimes I don't have the time to get into a new Pokemon game, but <clears throat> I still follow the franchise as much as I can. Um, there's always time for spin-offs because they're not usually as long as the first, the original game, you know, because a spin-off is basically a, you know, it has nothing to do with the original storyline, they're just meant for fun. Sometimes a spin-off can actually start a whole series, like, Mario is a perfectly good example, that's, Mario's got a ton of spin-off series, but this is Pokemon, so. Number five is Pokemon Channel for the GameCube. <clears throat> this game is pretty cool, it's like, basically... Um, a Pikachu shows up at your house, a wild Pikachu, and you, <clears throat> excuse me, sore throat, uh, the Pikachu, you uh, kind of adopt it, and it becomes more attached to it, as Pokemon do, and you, it goes around your, it's a, basically a point-and-click game, so Pikachu will, you point at things from, to, uh, to look at and interact with, because you get different things to, um, decorate your room, and you can go to the, your backyard or the front yard, and you go to, like, a beach in the forest and stuff like that, and there's different things for Pikachu to there too, and you can also, there's other Pokemon for Pikachu to interact with, and you, um, collect cards, like little Pokemon cards, I don't think there's a picture of it on here, but, no there isn't, but, <laughs> um, not like Pokemon, not the kind of cards you can buy in stores, but little simple Pokemon cards, not like the trading game, but, <clears throat> and, uh, Mainly, mainly what you do is you watch TV with Pikachu. There's all different shows, like, um, Meowth and Psyduck do the news. Uh, Squirtle does a home shopping show, which is actually where you get, um, uh, a lot of that stuff to decorate your room with, and that's how you get some of the cards. There's little mini-games, almost like Tamagotchi-type stuff, which you also get from the Squirtle home shopping show thing. Uh, w Wobbuffet does a game show. Smoochum does a, um, like a fitness training show, which is, when Pikachu becomes more attached to it, it's, um, it'll start doing the exercise, so it's kind of cute to see Pikachu doing, like, jumping jacks and stuff, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, moving on. Number four is Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Color. There we go. Yeah, the reason this is kind of bulky is because it had a built-in... Rumble Pack, which was kind of cool for a handheld system, or a handheld game. It basically, it's just pinball, but with a Pokemon twist. <clears throat> you know, you capture Pokemon, train them, you can go to bonus stages where you fight Meowth, and Gengar, and Diglett, and Mewtwo, and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> I used to play this for hours when I was a kid, uh, all the time. It, uh, one of my high schools, probably from when I was like 12 or 13, because I still have all my high scores saved in this, and my highest score was, like, over a billion points, because I, I don't know what happened. I was just on fire, and it's, it's still saved in there. Yeah, this, this would make a great addition to the 3DS Virtual Console. If you like Pokemon and or Pinball, it's worth looking into. Number three is Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo 64. <clears throat> I remember, I think I first played this at Blockbuster, because they had it set up there to play, and, uh, took me a few years, but I did finally buy it. This, this game was so much fun. It's, you play as... Originally, his name was... in the From the TV series, originally his name was Todd, the photographer kid that was only in a few episodes. He's <clears throat> friends with Ash and Misty in them. Um, his name was Todd, and then years later when they re-aired the series and put him on DVD and stuff for... Whatever reason, maybe it was because of the game, I don't know, but for whatever reason, they changed his name from Todd to Snap, but I still call him Todd. <clears throat> so the game, you play as Todd, and you, um, you're in, like, a hovercraft thing, going around taking pictures of Pokemon and stuff, and you can, uh, you get points for them, the more you get, the more you unlock different items and stuff, so you can get, use the items to draw out different po you revisit the areas, and... You draw out different. Use the items to draw out different Pokemon, as well as uh, you know, or get better pictures of Pokemon. But 
stuff, and yeah, it's a fun game. Like it's, I think it's probably for me maybe it's, I think it's the most first, the most fun the first time you play it, because it uh, <clears throat> that's when you first uncover all the secrets and stuff. So, like when you're first uncovering the secrets all the first time, it's like kind of like a big thing because you're like whoa, <laughs> but it's still fun to play. Yeah. Number two is Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. If you're a Pokemon fan, this is a must-play game. It's awesome. <clears throat> I mentioned this in my top ten GameCube games video, so I don't need to go too deep in detail, but I can kind of sum it up a little. It, basically, the hero, that's you, which is actually right there, you play as the hero, <clears throat> and... He used to work for this evil corporation who is turning Pokemon into mindless killing machines by closing off the gateway to their heart. So you as the hero realize that that's wrong, so you quit the team, or organization, whatever, and... and <clears throat> excuse me. How I got a sore throat in s uh, summer is beyond me, but whatever. The uh, hero... <clears throat> you steal this prototype gauntlet thing that allows you to steal people's other people's Pokemon via Pokeball, which normally would be impossible, this gauntlet makes it possible. So you use that to uh, basically capture these um, Dark Aura Pokemon, these uh, baddie Pokemon, if you will, and you retrain them to reopen the gateway to their heart and stuff. I'm pretty sure it has a... I'm pretty sure it also has a... Uh, like Pokemon Stadium, I'm pretty sure it has a thing like that too. I never really did around with it too much because it's the story that's really awesome. But yeah, definitely look into this game. It's so good. Number one is actually a spin off series. It's the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, which appear on a few different console, um, handheld consoles. The cat's <laughs> trying to sleep here. Hold on. What? Are you trying to sleep? Might be in too late. Oh. Anyways, the po um, her ears are going back. <laughs> Am I being too loud? Anyways, so yeah, there was one for Game Boy Advance, which was Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team on the DS. Then there was Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky on the also on the DS, and. Gaze to Infinity for the 3DS. I think the Rescue Team ones were my favorite. The first out of the series. These, um, you might have seen the commercials for the uh, Explorers of Time and Darkness from 2008. The ones where the kids are like, I am Pikachu. I am Charmander. Yeah, that that's these games. Basically, it's like, it asks you the question, what if you woke up one morning and you were a Pokemon? Because in this series, <clears throat> humans and Pokemon live in two different worlds. And the Pokemon are like us. They speak human language, um, and uh, they run shops and manage money. And everything. you, as a human, are transformed into a Pokemon, and you're a pe wake up in their world, and then you're founded by another Pokemon who becomes your partner. <coughs> it's usually like the starting Pokemon and Pikachu and a few others, like, uh, and then you. Basically, it's a cross between an adventure game and an RPG. So you go around, <clears throat> you go on adventures, you uh, <clears throat> recruit other Pokemon, you save Pokemon. You know, you need to go on adventures by like saving Pokemon or finding special items, escorting Pokemon to their friends, or battling Pokemon boys or whatever. <laughs> and you recruit other Pokemon to make like a team. You you give your team a name. Yeah, this... It's a game, I, another series I'd look into. They're really good games, so... Well, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, that would be really cool. And I'll see you next time.